And now, Channel 7 News, your seven-time Emmy Award-winning broadcast with Ron Burgundy and Brick Tamlin. Good evening. Welcome to Channel 7 News, your number one Paris news network. I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Brian Fantano. I'm Brick. Thank you for joining us tonight. As you know, throughout France, recently there have been many bad harvests, inflation, high taxes, and unrest sparked by the Age of Reason, or the Enlightenment. Tonight's top story involves breaking news on the meeting of representatives from all three estates. We now go live to Versailles to Darren, who is standing by at the estate's general. Darren, thank you, Brick. Darren had the night off. I'm Lemon Tiger. I'm here live on scene at Versailles at the estate's general. As you can see, behind me, people are beginning to find their seats to start the meeting. This meeting was called to discuss the major economic problems caused by the poor leadership and expendable spending of money. Known as the church. They make up about 1% of the population. The representative for the second estate is a noble, noble man. They also make up about 1% of the population. And the last and last and least, the third estate, uh, is being represented by the bourgeoisie, who make up almost 97%. 97%. That's all I have for now. As we go to the newsroom for more information on the key and queen. Nancy? Thanks, Darren. I'm Nancy Hernandez. I do, in fact, have some information on the king and queen. We will start with King Louis. His tutors made little effort to prepare him, so in turn caused him to lack determination and the ability to make decisions. Louis lacked the qualities of a good king. He was indecisive and weak. He ignored his government advisors and took advice from his wife. Marie Antoinette was very was unpopular with the French because of her unneeded spending. The Queen spent so much money on gowns, jewels, and gambling that she was given the nickname Madame Deficit. Could these factors be a contributing factor to the French Revolution? Stay tuned to Channel 7 News to find out. Back to you, Brick. Thank you, Nancy. What a lovely description of the royal family. It most certainly was, Brick. In later news, a small child has fallen into a well and cannot get out. Brick? Um, yes. That is a very tragic statement, Ron. I would not like to be that kid. I've just got wind of a new story. Evidently, a National Assembly has been created at the Estates General by the Third Estate. But when we go live to Lemon Tiger, who is standing by in Versailles. Lemon? I'm Lemon Tiger. Yes, that is correct. Last night, the Estates General, the Third Estate's delegates? decided to declare themselves the National Assembly and pass laws and reforms in the name of the French people. What do you think you're doing? What are you doing? This just in. It appears this that the third state place. delegates have just been locked out place. of the meeting you room. You can't be in here. Get out. Get out of here. Oh and they've locked themselves in the old tennis court. I would assume that they would carry on their duties of declaring themselves French citizens. We don't know how badly the bourgeoisie and the rest of the third class inhabitants would like that. Stay tuned to French's number one news station, Channel 7, for more on this ecstatic event. Wow, thank you, Lemon Tiger. What an exciting development. Breaking news! An angry mom has gathered outside the newsroom and is heading towards the Bastille. We go to Big Papa, who is live on the scene. Papa? Ha! I'm Big Papa! And people are just... Tearing down the Bastille like crazy! I don't know what to think of this! I mean, I, they're just they're tearing people out! They're, like, look at these people! Look at them! They're just tearing it! Oh man! Oh god! They're, they're, they're dragging the warden out! I don't know what they're gonna do! They're beating him to death! He's begging for death! Look at that face! He just, I don't know what to do! I mean, oh god! Oh man! Okay! They're just, oh man! This is Big Papa. Back to you. Thank you, Big Papa, for those wonderful details. In recent events, rumors have been floating around that nobles have been hiring outlaws to terrorize the peasants after what happened to the Bastille. For more on this great fear, stay tuned to Channel 7 News. An interesting story has just come in. In result of the price of bread, women have started a riot known as the Periusin Women Riot. For more on this, we go to our special correspondent who is standing by at the scene. 
Zora? Here's the latest. Paris and women began rioting about the rising bread prices. Arming themselves, they marched to Versailles. <coughs> First, they demanded that the National Assembly provide them with bread, but their, soon, their anger soon grew to the king and queen. They broke into the palace and started killing all the royal guards, demanding that the king and queen return to Paris. As you can see, they are returning on foot with the king and queen captive. The women of the, also have the royal guards' heads on pikes. What will they do when they return to Paris? Will the king and queen meet the demands of the people or try to make a run for it? Back to you, Rob. I told them a hundred times it's wrong! <clears throat> we have been informed that the king and queen have been forced to sign the Declaration of Rights of Man and Citizen. Rick, can you tell us a little bit more about what's in this document? I most certainly can, Ron. In France, the people of the Third Estate have made a document called the Rights of the Man and Citizen. It reflects the influence of the Declaration of Independence of the United States of America. It states that all men are born free and remain equal under these rights. These rights include liberty, property, security, and resistance to oppression. It also guarantees citizens equal justice, freedom of speech, and freedom of religion. Revolutionary leaders have adopted the slogan, Liberty, Equality, and Fraternity, although this did not apply to everyone. Breaking news! The King and Queen have been reported missing. Stay tuned to Channel 7 News. For now, we're signing off from Channel 7 News. You stay romantic, Paris. I'm Brick. And I'm Ron Brick. Dang it! Who put a question mark on the teleprompter? I told you, anything you put there, he will say!